everybody, I'm Julie and I've been a member of Christ Central Church since 2009. I wanted to share a story with you this morning of God's grace and mercy to me at a time when I didn't have a relationship with him. I was born in Battersea and went to church from a young age. My mother was a Sunday school teacher and I knew of God, but I had no relationship with him. I didn't praise him. I just cried out to him if things were difficult or someone was sick. In 1978, I got married and moved to the Forest of Dean. And everything was great. I had two children. But in 2002, life became very difficult. My mum died. My marriage of 24 years broke down and I moved to a new house. As a result of the stress and grief of these three things happening in a very short space of time, I became depressed. I started to get panic attacks and I also started to get suicidal thoughts. I went to the doctor and he gave me some antidepressants. I took those for about 10 days and then I woke one night with a panic attack, really bad one, and decided I'd had enough and I didn't want to live anymore. So I took an overdose, a mixture of tablets, expecting to die. I remember calling out to God and saying, I want to be with you. Everything's too painful here. Well, I um, didn't die. Um, an hour later, I'm still very much alive, and I decided I'd go to the local canal with the thought of throwing myself in it. When I got to the canal, um, I remember looking down at the water, and it was so, so black, really thick black. And I looked up, and on the other side of the bank, I saw an enormous figure that seemed to have the appearance of a man. It was very, very bulky. And at that moment, I was sick, and all the tablets were on the ground, and all suicidal thoughts had just gone, and so had the figure. So I believe God had a plan for me, he had a plan for my life and seven years later um, he brought me back to London to look after my dad in Battersea who he'd got dementia. I got a part-time job at St George's Hospital and I met Trevor and um, we fell in love and got married and life was just great. But Trevor's mum uh, kept asking us to come to Penge Family Church as it was then and she asked us and asked us and virtually every time we saw her she asked us. So in the end I said to Trevor let's go because it will make her happy and maybe she won't ask us anymore. So we came into Christ Central Church and if I'm honest I thought everything was a bit crazy. Um, I didn't understand the lack of structure. There were a lot of terms like born again and saved that I didn't understand. But when the preaching started, I felt it was speaking directly to me. So we kept coming. And a few months later, God spoke to me as I listened to the gospel being preached. And I got it. I, I understood immediately that Jesus was the only way and God saved me and brought me spiritually alive that day so he's just so good so good to us um, so he never let me go and now I'm living my best life with him it's just amazing the journey he set us on but but God did it all I just listened and in his mercy he he caused me to be born again and Trevor got saved a few months later so I wanted to share the scripture from Ephesians that says 
Ephesians 2 verses 8 to 9 For by grace you have been saved through faith and this is not of your own doing it is a gift from God not a result of work so that no one may boast so that's my story one of my stories of God's goodness to me um, so I hope you find that encouraging miss you all see you soon